Hello everyone, I'm H2Icon from Online Knights, and this is Mass Effect Factions, the series where we break down the various races and groups from the Mass Effect trilogy, obviously with some spoilers. We split each video into four sections, History, Anatomy, Military, and Culture. This is episode 17, and today we're going to be covering the Hanar Primacy. Starting off, History, the backstory of the Hanar up until the games. Little is known about the Hanar's background, other than that they originated from the planet Kaje at least 50,000 years ago. Hanar were commonly eaten, either boiled or fried, by Protheans, but fortunately their extinction at the hands of the Reapers saved the Hanar. Free from their Prothean predators, the primitive Hanar evolved and eventually developed their own civilization. Soon they had advanced to become a spacefaring race, thanks in part to scientific discoveries found in the Prothean ruins left behind on Kaji. They made contact with the other citadel races sometime after roughly 400 BCE, joining the galactic community and setting up an embassy on the citadel not long afterwards. The Hanar made little impact on galactic conflicts and events in the following millennia. Their main contribution to history came in 1980 CE, when they discovered the reptilian Drell on Rakana. The Drell had overpopulated and irreversibly damaged Rakana's environment. The Drell were doomed to extinction on their dying planet, had it not been for the Hanar leaping to their aid. Over a 10 year period, almost 400,000 Drell were evacuated to the Hanar homeworld, before the subsequent collapse of Rakana. The Hanar allowed the Drell to remain on Kaji, creating an agreement known as the Compact between the two species. This agreement permitted the remnants of the Drell to live with the Hanar under their protection, in exchange for their services for physical tasks to which they were better suited to than the Hanar. This is not a form of servitude, however, as the Drell were, and still are, equal members of Hanar society, having integrated fully into the world of their saviours. By the start of the trilogy, the Hanar still live for the most part in isolation from the other races. Through keeping to themselves, the Hanar have made few enemies, and are a decently well-respected race within the galactic community. A minor faction, yes, but an important one nonetheless. Secondly, Anatomy, a description of Hanar physiology. The Hanar have one of the most unique appearances of any race in the games, looking much like large jellyfish. Since their homeworld of Kaji is almost entirely covered by oceans, the Hanar evolved as a species of large aquatic invertebrates. Hanar appear mostly featureless, as smooth pink blobs with two small fins on their backs and a short tail. They also have six long tentacles which they can articulate to grip weapons and tools. More similarities to jellyfish include the fact that Hanar are slightly bioluminescent, and also that they can produce strong natural toxins within their bodies. Additionally, it is possible that Hanar are asexual, like many jellyfish as well, since those Hanar in the games all appear physically alike, with no sign of gender-based variation. As an aquatic species, the Hanar need to rely on technology when out of the water. They use levitation packs to move around, as well as speech generating devices to talk to other species, communication between Hanar being done via bioluminescent patterns. It is not clear if they also use technology to breathe on land, or if they are naturally able to breathe air. Thirdly, military, an assessment of the Hanar's strength. The Hanar are a generally peaceful species and rarely enter conflict, thus their military is accordingly small. This pacifism is largely forced upon them given their severe physical disadvantage when fighting anywhere outside water. There are accounts of Hanar strangling people with their tentacles, but for the most part the Hanar will never engage in direct combat. The limited strength the Hanar do have comes in the form of their navy, which is smaller than most, but still boasts enough starships to be a significant force. The Hanar also make extensive use of automated systems to fight for them. The planetary defense network protecting Kaji, for example, is almost entirely computer controlled. As well as computers, the Hanar also employ the more physically able Drell, calling on Drell agents to fulfill their compact obligations and support the Hanar in times of conflict. The Hanar are only a small fish in a galaxy full of stronger powers, so their close alliance with the Drell helps ensure the safety of both species. Finally, culture a summary of Hanar society and behaviours. The Hanar take etiquette very seriously, and are always extremely polite when talking to others. Each Hanar has two names, a face name, which is their public label, and a soul name, a more personal, often poetic name, known only to their close friends and family. When talking to someone who knows them only by their face name, Hanar will always refer to themselves in the third person. Despite the fact that the Protheans ate the Hanar, the Hanar ironically came to regard the Protheans as gods, due to the magnificence of the Prothean ruins on Kaji. Study of the ruins helped the Hanar to develop language, and so they refer to Protheans as the Enkindlers, having enlightened their culture. 
Hannah are deeply religious and will often attempt to convince others to join them in this worship of the enkindlers. The Hanar consider themselves enlightened and thus have an arrogant sense of spiritual superiority over other races. This is even reflected in their name for the Hanar state, the Illuminated Primacy. Their disdain for the impolite heathen races of the galaxy, coupled with their inability to easily leave water, means it is very rare to see Hanar outside of their own worlds. The Hanar have very limited economic contact with the other races, apart from an apparently booming trade in exporting alcohol to the Batarian black market. The Hanar don't consume alcohol themselves, although they do seem to enjoy eating hallucinogenic fish. So, that's the Hanar. Do bear in mind that this isn't a definitive summary, but we hope that you've learned something new and enjoyed the video nonetheless. Please like, comment any suggestions, and subscribe for more. I've been H2Acon from Online Nights, and I'll see you next time.